here we go with I think this will be part five um, of our series so where we left off we had gotten we, we had taken care of a few more chests um, and we just finished this big labyrinth off right so we just took care of that so let's go ahead get in here in this map and then see what else um, we have a chest over here so we'll mark that with number one we have a chest over here too on number two it looks as if there may be a way around the castle wall as we get over here but we're definitely going to need some more abilities before we work our way up this side nine times out of ten something else that's also interesting too to note and we definitely encountered this when we tried to fight this uh this mutant a little while ago in the last in the last uh playthrough the last chapter of this this playthrough of ours the mutants are definitely way powerful and it's interesting because we can see here that they're considered to be so powerful that they actually have denoted marks on the map so we definitely won't be messing with any of the mutants for right now because we just don't have the current skill sets to be able to handle those uh, so we'll be avoiding them of course in kind well except maybe for this one it looks like we'll have to fight this mutant here because it's literally on the path to the main objective so we'll deal with that and do in uh in due cognizance so let's go ahead and go over here to this chest at number one then we'll go over here to number four um and then we'll pick things up but we'll probably dodge number two for now i'll actually take that one off the list um so yeah we'll put number two here is the monument number three is the mutant and then of course number four is our main destination all right so number one is over this way so we'll go ahead and head this way to be honest i don't even know if we can get to number one this is going to be another one of those where this will be a test of my jumping skill uh, i think we can use this traversal path right here i think we can get a foothold off so we stand here for a second i'm gonna get my stamina back and there we go we were able to make it up Okay, so here we have a situation where we have multiple enemies in play. So I did that to strategically get rid of the wolves, at least the majority of them. Um, we're going to go ahead and put down Disperse to try and slow down this other wolf. Again, using all of the combat dynamics to our advantage. Uh, man, I kind of have my... My distancing a little bit off on Tendril there. But we're clear. Exactly what purpose is that ridiculous exaggeration supposed to say? So let's go ahead, go over here. We'll get the mana first. This should come in handy. We'll also pick up this firewood and let's see what's in this chest here Better than nothing I suppose so this feather should allow us to be able to improve the materials of pou the pouch materials pouch again let's go ahead and look at our magic here so we're at 46 we need 76 points just to be able to get to Genesis level 2 I don't think we'll worry about that one for right now I'm still kind of more prioritizing scattershot level 3 and then we'll go ahead and start working on some of the others. So it's actually interesting. Here you can see, we can actually see enemies moving all the way down there, which even though, again, I know some people have their things about the graphics in this game, that still shows this doing a very good job in terms of representing um, kind of like the battle dynamics, or I guess you could say the world dynamics, because Really, in a lot of games, you don't have load-in for enemies that far away. Let's go ahead and get rid of these enemies here. Awesome. That's done. Oh, and we just leveled up again, so there's some more mana. Believe me, you're plenty of commotion. Now, here's something interesting to note, too. Even though we're right here, Unless this chest is the one that I'm seeing, I don't think this chest is being reflected. It could be, though. 
Oh, that might actually be the one that I'm thinking of. We'll see. We'll be there in a second. Let me just make sure we can climb can't back up. Can't see me. Indulge yes, a little we can. If you like, just don't get yourself killed. So, of course, if we have an advantageous position, we're going to use it. Does that make things that a little easier? down now. More than a little. Yep. Think fast. Well, do something. Oh, right. They're immune. So, definitely, I'm going to get Genesis level 2. I might actually prioritize Genesis level 2. Because I'm tired of my surge magic not doing anything. Heads up. That'll do it. <clears throat> Got you on your toes now. All right, we're done there. Did you find something? So yeah, it does actually look like it was that chest. So, okay then. So we got some green stone out of that. Oh, we'll pick up what this enemy dropped here. And it looks as if there's another thing over here that we can take advantage of. And we have another refuge here as well. And so what we'll do is once we're done with these, we'll work our way this way. Because this wall is too tall for us to climb anyway uh, to that other area. So let's get these done while we're out here. Ready? I'm just going to do a quick scan with Cuff. That way I make sure that the enemies that are in front of me are the only ones that are present. I keep forgetting that that does absolutely nothing to them. Just breathe, will you? You'll never hit anything otherwise. Not helping. Alright, we're going to get some more space there. Oh, looks like there's actually a uh, stone right there. Pick that up. Awesome. And we got the killer blow. Okay. Let's go over here. Oh, believe me. I know. So a few different things apparently to pick up. Oh, looks What's like we this? found the boy's like diary. Left a note. Why did this have to happen to a little kid? Oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like this map shows the spread of the break, but it's pretty different from how things are now. It must be from a few years ago. It's entirely useless, in other words. Wonderful. Well, I mean, that's a little rough cuff, but is that the yes, still, we were able According to find to some map, things. It is, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up this mana. So that's 61. I'm going to really quickly check up here and see what's up this way. Oh, and it looks like there's a bridge anyway that will take us back towards some of the other areas. Yep, along with this chest right here. So that is good. We can go back and then we'll be able to hit these areas too. And we'll need to go back to the monument. So we'll head that way in a second. Let's go in the refuge. We may be able to upgrade some things. Probably not, At but last. we'll see. Yes, very fortuitous timing, I must say. Okay, no upgrades that we can do there. And there's no point in changing much of anything on that one. We don't need to rest at all, so we're good here. 
Break time's over. Let's get moving. This is the guy who can't even open the door to leave. Why would I need to? I have you. Right, so it looks like just break zombies. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just seeing break zombies. So, that's good. That went well. You bet it did. That asshole's going nowhere. Alright, that's one. That's two. Say we're at the height of our powers right. right now. And we better get to kicking some ass. Okay. Seems like the Athians are into tall buildings, huh? It's said that the more towers a land has, the more prosperous it is. And the taller, the better. I guess that's one thing this place and home have in common. Although in this case, it might be more accurate to say the more prosperous it was. Before the Tunters went mad. Than nothing, I suppose. Okay, so we have spine stone. Nothing Seems over this way. Here's hoping it stays that way. We have wolves over here, so we'll go ahead and take care of them. And we're gonna take a second before going to this direction. We'll actually start going to the left a bit. <laughs> But again, the goal here is to level up as soon as possible. So whatever has to be done to level up, that's what we're gonna do. Who are you trying to hit exactly? Uh, that poker right there. Right in the sweet spot. You don't hang around, do you? No point wasting time. So they time. are now done. Let's go back this way. There's going to be a mutant over this way. We'll see if we can figure out how strong that mutant is and what it's going to take to put that mutant down. Okay. That mutant is possible, but let's go ahead and find a way around for right now. Because we're going to go ahead and get these other Straight things done amazing, first. Right? Then we'll come back. Let's see how much magic. 64. So I need a bit more before I can get the scatter shot level 3. Out of the way. We got this. Oh. Oh. Go. Oh. This'll do it. Yeah. I realize I don't have any stamina, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it looks like it'll keep the attacks at bay. Oh yeah. Can 
is through. That's Tonto power, no mistake. Must be something there. Okay, let's investigate this area. Oh. Yeah. Wolves eye. Lots of wolves. Lot of wolves. Okay. Right on the money. You're gonna love this. Okay, let's try and get to the spot. All right, this is problematic. There's a lot of them. With stamina abilities, this would be easy, but unfortunately, with her current abilities, this is rough. That's what I call a pick me up. Glad you're feeling on top of your game. Do you think you might consider getting hit a little less? What do you think I am? Superhuman? So see again, the problem that I'm having is I'm running out of stamina as I'm trying to fight them, uh, and that makes me a sitting duck. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That and the fact that her tendril has a wait time. That cast time is nasty to deal with. All Try right. this for size. I'd say now's the time to strike. No shit. There it is. Well, that was straightforward Fine. enough. Easy for you to say. Okay. I sense a hostile presence. Be on your guard. Yeah, yeah. Stay frosty. Got it. So it looks like this whole area is basically out. filled with monsters. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody loves you. Huh. You don't hang around, right. do you? No point wasting time. So let's go ahead and get this monument clear. Mm. That'll do it. Nice, so that gives me a healing effect boost. It's just up ahead. So let's see. We go into the map here. I don't think there's anything this way anymore. We took care of everything there. So now we can officially start to head this way and try and take care of that mute I'm gonna quickly farm some more XP over here though and then we'll go to those other areas Whoa. done 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 not a particularly exacting opponent Oh, you want me to make things more interesting for you? Okay, so we have everything we need there. Let me see. I should be able to get up this wall too. Ooh, yeah. that was sweet. Possible.
Okay. That should actually be enough magic now. Yep, for Sky Shot level three. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's not get careless. So we'll go ahead and start heading back. Let's just take whatever XP we can from other enemies. Gotcha. That's the thing that I have the problem with, with her timing on Tendril. As you can see, the delay is massive for how long it takes yeah. her to use Tendril sometimes. Like it. Nice work. Now wait until she heals up or gets her stamina back before we start this one. All right. charge up some. We use tendril and then get down for a second. Wait for the stamina to charge up. I sometimes wonder how come a little guy like you makes such a good shield. Middling, I suppose. Okay. I'll give you middling, asshole. That should not be able to protect you as well as I usually do. Great, that's all I need. But that's the other thing. When they're in blue attack status like that, they're basically invincible to knockback. So gotcha. keep that in mind. Also, phrase cancels are limited in terms of when she can cancel out of attack. 
so there are some times that she can't cancel. Too slow. All right. How far now? Done there. Getting closer. So I guess let's go ahead and try this mutant fight out. Same thing as before, we're going to save the game on this one. But since this one is directly on our path, I would presume that they expect us to be able to actually take this one. And since this is the deer, you can probably do a bit more damage to the deer than some of the others. Yeah, at least the deer is not resistant to our attacks. Get out of the way. We got this. This looks like a big one. So with that one, make sure that you're nowhere within the, the attack radius, because it will nope, be able to come working. straight through your attack on that. That'll do it. So again, continuously watch your stamina. The whole point is to make sure that you have as much stamina as possible at all times. That's not doing much. See, that wasn't far enough. So you can't just do a normal dodge on that one because if he hits you, it will still count. I think I might be getting a taste of this stuff. Come on. So again, her stamina limitations are sickening at this level. But I mean, of course, it's the early game, right? So I guess I can't get too mad. I'm pretty sure, yep, he's immune to that as well. And of course, because of how long it takes stamina to charge up, it's just such a kind of like a utter run fest. My ace in the hole. This doubt many attacks would be getting through this. Then we better let her rip. Yeah. does anything too. The first moments of any battle are crucial. You're telling me that now? Definitely one of those where it's the epitome of just whittling this creature down over and over again. So see, that wasn't far enough. Again, her stamina limitations are just very, very annoying when it comes to that. Alright. Still this waiting for Cuff to revive right now. See again, he, all he has to do is just chase after me, and I'm literally just burning stamina. Right. So we got hit with that and taken out. Is that the guild? According to the map, it is, yes. 
So this one is still going to be very difficult, it seems, even at current level. Um, at least on hard, anyway. I mean, it's doable with a bunch of whittling, but still not really something that I guess is worthwhile at this juncture to fight through. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to even increase or speed this up with the current spells, but not really, because none of her stuff is really going to be powerful enough to get through that thing. So we're going to continue to avoid this one. Hopefully, hopefully this will actually give us fire magic at this next temple or this next uh, area. And if it does, then we'll go ahead and fight that mutant head on coming back. Because right now it's just resistant to too much of our damage. Believe me, there's plenty of commotion all by yourself. Seems like the Appians are in small buildings, huh? It said that the more talons a man has, the more prosperous it is. The poor, the better. Guess that's one thing this place and home have in common. Although in this case, it might be more accurate to say the more prosperous it was. Then the Tantus went mad. Well, do something. There it is! <laughs> Didn't even give him time to blink. Exactly what purpose is that ridiculous exaggeration supposed to serve? Alright, let's go up this way. Straight up amazing, am I right? A little modesty wouldn't hurt. I'm sure there were nice people before, but come on. I'd strike while the iron was hot if I were you. Don't have to tell me twice. Ugh. like there are a bunch of resources over on this side as well. Not the most impressive find. Hey, freebie's a freebie. Did you Don't find something? Need firewood, grain stone is good, bomb flax is good. Almost there. We also haven't gotten to the point where we're able to paint her nails yet either, Roger so that. we'll see what happens once we get into this area. Well, looks like this is the place. Seems like it's seen better days. Well, you're not going to find what you're looking for out here. I know. I know. <sighs> Great start. Okay, so let's go ahead and investigate this guild. Got a chest over here. Oh, I already have healing draught. I guess I need to go ahead and actually use flow state or, oh, no. I think we're not supposed to try and use full state in here. <laughs> oh, and there's a chest outside, so we'll need to grab that after we're done in here. Great. Talk about a needle in a haystack. How am I going to find these damn journals? He must have kept them somewhere safe. They contained his last great works, did they not? Nice, some old Let's coins. make our way upwards, shall we? wonder how many floors this place has. Looks like the break didn't come this far yet. You think those journals might be here? Perhaps we should take a look around. Okay. Hey, Cuff. 
Can you read what it says here? How can you not read their language when you can understand their words? Beats me. You are Mr. Languages share commonalities across many dimensions. I suppose I'll have to teach you then, will I? Fine. Okay, so these must be some notes on the break itself. This book contains some interesting tidbits about mysterious shards that were found after the break occurred. So, break shards? Well, if you like. So this is how we find out that we can use nail designs. Well now, that's curious. What is? The Tantas painted unique patterns on their fingernails with their blood in order to unlock certain special powers. And depending on what patterns they painted, those powers would change accordingly. Oh, okay. I guess that could be useful somehow. Now that I did not expect. There's rather an intriguing connection between those two books, you know. Which is? Your break shards are said to be imbued with the blood of the Tantas. Perhaps you could use them to get the same powers. Seriously? Here we go. So we've already collected, hopefully enough break shards, we'll see. Or they may have split that into a separate kind of mission thing that we have to do, maybe. Oh, okay, never mind. It's right here. So, let's see. So for right now, we'll use Trigger Happy later. But for the time being, it makes more sense to just do maybe Slay and um, Blue Flash. Okay, nails aren't really my thing, but in this case, I guess I can make an exception. I suppose the journals you were looking for weren't here after all. I took my chances. Let's just keep looking upstairs. Okay, that's another feather, so we can probably upgrade material Seems we're capacity free of any now. immediate danger. Feels like it's getting brighter. This isn't what we're looking for either. person under that getup. No shit, Sherlock. You need to know who he is. There's only one way to find out. Okay, Mr. Axe Murderer. I'm gonna come towards you and take off your mask. You're gonna be cool or uncool? <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going with uncool. Uh, so I'm gonna let you chill in my grass prison while I go and look for the journals. 
Ada did not say there were going to be so many. Oh, Ada? Mayo. Robian? I am looking at a goddamn ghost. H how are you alive? Everybody thinks you're dead. It's the hue of blue. And the bloomers, too. I, I don't understand. I thought you wrote about it in the Red Journals. They get inside and... Sometimes I can't, but I try. I have to. Looks like you're losing the battle with the break, buddy. Yes, but you. You look like you're winning. How? I don't know. I am so far from home. I I'm trying to get back. I, I, I fell through a... Um... Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a, a, a whoosh. Yeah, I, I gotta get back to where I gotta be through a, a, a voosh. Voosh, ha. You will get back to where you need to be. Voosh. Yes, voosh. <laughs> Company. Stay here. Company. Company. Ooh. Time for tea. Wonder whose voice that was. Whoever it was, we need to be careful. So yeah, Robian's definitely lost Can't his mind. Can't believe Robian was alive this whole time. The peasant girl is in for the shock of her life. We are the soldiers of the Tanta Sila. You are in our realm. You are to come with us. That's not a thing that's happening. This automata, his only loyalty is to Sila. Nope, not working. You need to wait for an opening. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Alright. So they're My quick with the their hole. responses. Well, they're not zombies, but they're still creepy as fuck. They're merely husks. They feel nothing. Not even pain. At least surge magic does ah! something. Oh yeah. Mm. Alright. Got you on your toes now. Mm. Ah. Ah. I'll go ahead and go around back for a second. Oh, looks like I already have healing drop. Let's get an idea of where they're at. We got this. Since I can't really do any damage to them from the front, it makes more sense to just go ahead and just kind of hide it out. Doing much. I wonder. Okay, so it can't pierce. So scatter shot normally can pierce through an enemy, but for these guys, I guess it doesn't work. Only way to hit them is to really use burst shot from behind them, like that. Heads up. Now I can bind them. Like so, and then get behind them this way and apply from the back. Nope. 
stop that now. And this last one. You know what? I don't have stamina, so I'll finish you that way. Oh, there's more of them? Okay. Running time. there. Until stamina comes back. <laughs> Got one for ya. Trying to bounce it behind him. There we go. Honest, this is one of the moments where the AI should have been continuously following. I mean, I'm glad they made it a little easier for me, but on hard mode, you'd think that they'd be able to follow me. So they made to work on that a little bit. Like, it's interesting because certain enemies seem to have aggressiveness levels varying on their difficulty. So like the bear, for example, is extremely over the top in terms of its general aggressiveness. And yet these guys aren't really aggressive enough. Alright. Okay, we gotta grab what we can. Journals. Uh. Okay, Bob. Bob, come. I'm gonna go. You good? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. I think we lost them. He's completely mad. Yeah, too far gone for anyone's good. Corrupted by the break. Well, break Bob here is the best shot I got at leaving, so. That's quite worrisome. To be honest, I don't care what you think. I do have an investment in your decisions. Where thou goest, there go I and all that. Yeah, well, whatever magic bound us when I got here, hopefully will unbind when I get back. Pity. I was growing so fond of our partnership. Mm, I wish I could say the same. You say something, dear. No, oh, no. Just thinking out loud. Wonderful. I do that a lot. Or I think I do. Maybe I don't. Hard to separate the voice inside my head from any other. You know what? Pray really I understand you completely. Tell me about where you mind. come from. Uh, it's a city much bigger than Sepal. It's called New York. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I know it. You do? Or I don't. The name is sitting there on the edge of memory, peeking through the fog. Or maybe I dreamt it. 
It, it sounds like a place I should know. Perhaps I've heard it spoken of. Have you told me of it? Maybe that, maybe you said something. Yes. Oh, he's gonna be essential. Knock it off. Yeah, dude's brain is definitely gone. But yeah, her and Cuff need to have conversations Shit. through their through Sipal telepathy on fire? or something. It does appear to be smoldering somewhat. Come on. Hello, this is Warong Gaming. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.